Good evening, I'm Oldis from EFNG. I decided to record this video because we recently updated our how to create Windows images for EVE. Under documentation, how to's, you will find how to create Windows host on the EVE. Okay, let's start. The first, you have to obtain from Microsoft or Internet the installation media ISO installation for Windows. In this video I will install Windows 7 64 bits. I already downloaded from the uh, Internet a couple of images and placed on my desktop. Next, you have to SSH to your EVE because we will work on CLI and create directory which will be a win hyphen 7. The important is very important is first part win hyphen. Behind hyphen you can use anything you like like Windows 7, X64 and some version or whatever you need. This video and actually these steps you can use for any of version 7, 8 or Windows 10 as well. Let's start. Make directory from CLI. So uh, I have to go and open my EVE. So here we are. And create a directory. Okay. Copy. Paste. Good. Create it. Use WinSCP or FileZilla and upload your downloaded Windows ISO media into newly created directory. Let's do it. Open up FileZilla. On the left side, on the desktop and in ISO, you can see images I have got. On the right side, we have to get our reef 172.25.1, which is my management IP address of EVE. Uh, login username is root and the password is if if you if you changed of course before so here must be a root password port is 22 okay quick connect and here we are let's go to the main tree double click and the path where we created this directory is options unit lab add-ons and chemo and scroll down you can see the windows 7 test is here open up and we just drag and drop this Windows ISO 74 media to the right side. The upload process started. I'm going to pause and be back when it's done. Okay, our upload is completed and let's go step 3. Go to our CLI and we have to go to location of Windows 7 test. Copy. Enter. Here we are. Next step. Step 4. Rename ISO file. So original file name must be renamed to the CD-ROM ISO. Let's do it. I'm copying this command. Put my scratchings. And make sure that you are renaming the correct ISO file name to CD-ROM. Let's go back to CLI, ls to check what is inside of my folder. And here we are. I'm replacing and this one with my file name. Copy, paste, done. ls, and you can see we rename it original Windows 7 ISO file name to CD-ROM ISO. Perfect. Step 5. We have to create the hard drive, virtual hard drive. As I'm installing Windows 7 64 bits, the 30 gig hard drive is going to be a little bit short. So I will create 50. Okay. Don't, don't worry about this 30 gig. It will not eat all 30 gigs in, inside of your EVE. So we are creating the virtual one. Actually, install it image of Windows 7 64 bits will be about 6-7 uh, gigs. Yeah, but late, later we will try to make it smaller as well. So I'm creating 50 gig hard drive. Done. And if we check on LS, you can see that we have two, two files, which is installation media ISO, CD-ROM, 
and we have a virtual a hard drive we are ready to start installation go to your reef create some lab so let's say it will be win win test okay save I'm adding on lab the network. Network will be my internet and home LAN. So it is my management and clone zero. Home, home LAN. Okay. Save. And we are adding our newly created windows. And our windows is Win7 test. This one. Okay. RAM I'm making a little bit bigger so 8 gig RAM so it will make a faster installation but later you can uh, in, in the labs you can you can change it to the 4 gigs as you wish so I'm making 8 save and connecting Windows to the cloud done let's start Windows node started and open a console and you can see VNC console is open at the Windows installation is started and it is real Windows installation, so it will take a time and I'll be back uh, from pause when it will prompt and will show you what I'm doing. Let's fill up settings, language English, United States, keyboard US, next, install now, pause. Okay, next prompt, accept license terms, next, and I'm choosing custom advanced. This will be a very important point. As you see, we have no hard drive where to install. And we are going to step 10. So it is very important how to load hard drive driver and choose proper option. I'm going to load driver browse floppy drive b storage 2003r2 and we have two directories here amd64 and x86 as we are installing windows 7 64 bits i have to choose amd64 this option will be will be chosen for servers as well which are 64 bits if you are installing windows 7 32 bits it will it would be x86 i'm choosing amd64 okay driver loaded next and let's wait And you can see that our hard drive, which we created before 50 gigs, gigs appeared. I'm choosing Drive Options Advanced and creating new partition. Apply. OK. Windows partition, system partition is created and we have second hard drive where we install our Windows. I'm going Format. And next. Our Windows installation is started. Going to pause. So first restart. Pause. Okay. After first boot, we have to fill up some information. So it will be user. Okay. Next. And password. Test one two three. Test one two three. Oops. Test one two three. Next product key you can obtain your own yeah, or activate Windows later, so I'm not going to do it here. And I'm not using recommended settings because it will take a huge time and spread your Windows very huge. So it's a hard drive will be it's like a 20 gig slam. So I'm I'm going to ask choose ask me later. Time zone is London. I'm in London. Uh, next, 
and public network. It is connected to my home network and it has got already DHCP address. Windows is starting. Completed actually. Now you can install whatever you like, some putty, some tools, uh, syslogs or, or whatever you like. It is real Windows and you can do it before we will commit all our changes and make this image as default. Okay, here we are. Now you can start use it, install it and do whatever you like. So everything what you do after we will commit it and make it as default. Okay, let's let's assume that I already did it, but I will make another video. I will show you how to commit the changes later after you created uh, your own own Windows and later you decided that some tool is necessary to be added. But on this point, I'm saying to shut down. It is important that you are shut down properly. Real Windows. It is going to shut down. Okay, and we are going, and we are going to next step. Important: commit installation and set it as default image for further use. We have to obtain three things. The first, let's go back to the lab, and we have to obtain lab UUID number. It is in lab details on the left side, and here we are. Copy. Let's go to my scratchings, paste. Next, we have to get our pod number. What is a pod, pod ID? Pod ID is user pod ID. And we have to know it because we, we install it as admin and we have to know what is admin pod number. How to get it? Close lab, management and user management. And you can see username is admin and the pod number is zero here. Just remember, pod number is zero. If you're installing from another user, the pod number can be can be other number. In this case, it is zero. Go back to lab. And the third value, what we have to obtain, it is node ID. Right click on node and you can see the number one. The node ID is one. Now we can grab this command line and a little bit edit. Copy. Go back to my scratchings. Okay. I am replacing I lab ID number with my. Okay. Control V. Node number is one, not eight. At the end, one. And the pod number is here. Pod number is zero. It is already zero. Good. Copy this edited line and go back to CLI. To be in, in that location, we now are in location where we created our image. And the last step to commit our all changes is just a copy this command into CLI. But make sure that you are in proper location where you created and installed at your Windows. I'm going to paste and enter. It will take a bit time because image is about 7, 6 gigs. I'm going to pause. Image is committed. You can see output image is committed. The last step is 17 where we have to remove installation media from our image directory. Go back location in Win7 test. Okay, here we are. LS and you can see that we have CD-ROM still here and I'm going to remove it. RM hyphen F and CD-ROM ISO. Done. LS and we have only one virtual virtual hard drive here. Let's test it. Let's go back to our if and let's create another lab. Okay, new lab, test win2 and let's add our newly created node win 
I'm choosing win best. You can see the drum is 4 gigs now. Okay. And start. And you can see my newly created windows as I committed it. It's starting and it is working here. I think it is informative for you and thank you very much for viewing.